Hey everybody, Andrew Murray here. We're going to continue with uh, exactly the step-by-step -step how to do this. So um, this is pretty similar, you know, no matter what you're, uh, uh, you know, what you're, you're using. Um, I will just log in to my Gmail and then pop over to uh, my contacts tab. Okay. All right, so here's all the contacts, blah, blah, blah. I have it you know, organized by different, uh, different things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, first, you want to find and merge all your duplicates if you have any. Okay, cool. And then what you want to do, uh, well, I'll basically just talk a little bit about how I, how I set this up. Okay, I just have basically set up you know, these different, different groups, different contact groups. Um, and so what you do is you go to export, okay? And you can do all contacts, but I'm just going to do a, a group, okay? Um, what group should I do? Uh, what group should I do? Oh, you can export circles. Okay. Interesting. All right, so now you can export circles too. Um... So let's do MLM pros. Okay. So I'm going to select Outlook um, CSV format and I'm going to click export. Okay. So what's going to happen is it's, uh, it's downloaded here and I'm going to go show and finder and I'm just going to rename this. G contacts MLM pros. Okay. I'm also going to show you how to do this from, you know, um, office autopilot account. Uh, you know, just, just to kind of show you the same, same kind of idea. And let's see, uh, let's, let's do, Let's do, what groups do I want to do? All right, let's do Zing Elite. All right, so these, these are uh, some of the elite members of, of MLM Zing. All right, and then what, what you do uh, with this is you just do all in group, more actions, and we do export contacts. All right, and then basically we're going to type in the email that we're going to send it to. And because we're really only interested in, in the email and the phone numbers, I'm just going to select uh, those four fields because, you know, I'm not really doing a, a full backup. And then I just click submit. Okay, so CSV is, is uh, all right. So maybe that's the other one I did yesterday. All right, so my CSV is ready, as you can see over here. I'm gonna click on it. And uh, basically this is the uh, Zing Elite. Okay. Um, all right, cool. So now what we can do is uh, we're gonna upload that list into you know, your, your, your Google contacts. Oh, I should, I should mention this. Um, you can sync your Facebook contacts over to your iPhone and, and, and that's how I get my, uh, my Facebook contacts. So I have all the, all the Facebook people, uh, in there, but basically, um, you just want to deal a little bit with these, um, you know, with these CSVs, don't be afraid of them. I'm gonna show you how you can get them into, into custom audiences. And it does take a little bit of, of, of time, you know, but, um, you know, trust me, it's, it's worth it. I should mention, it's also worth it to keep, to keep some of these groups smaller. Um, so you, because one of the things with that is, um, uh, where's my ads? All right, yeah, so when you keep these groups smaller, uh, what happens is it's easier to, to, to be more, uh, more versatile with them, okay? 
All right, so this is this is one of my uh, one of my Facebook accounts. Um, we'll just we'll just use this one for now. And uh, let's see. All right, so basically what you do is you, is you click on the power editor here. Now, if you don't have the power editor, okay, then um, uh, then it will say, hey, you need to download Google Chrome. All right. So basically, we're just click audiences. And then uh, we need to uh, create an audience, okay? And and it's going to be not a saved target group. It's going to be a custom audience. Saved target group is just you know if you have your your uh, group and you want to just retarget and um, you know you know your your core demographics that you're going to go after and, and your likes. You're just setting up a lot of different ads with with that. All right. So what we're going to do is. Um, we're actually going to have to go into uh, Text Wrangler here, and this is just a a, a basic uh, basic text formatter um, for the Mac. So first, let's do this one. Okay. Oops. Um, oh yeah, because I renamed it. All right, so those aren't going to show up there. Right, we're going to go in Downloads. All right. MLM Pros. Now this is the kind of messy part when you're dealing with Google Contacts um, because of course there's so many different uh, so many different records that they have. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're basically just going to uh, copy that whole row. I'm just going to click the header. And then copy and head over to Text Wrangler and paste it. Okay. And it's just going to copy those uh, email addresses. And, you know, occasionally you'll have uh, stuff that's, that's not in the right uh, email. Um, that's okay. And with Google Contacts, I think there are three emails uh, addresses. So I'm going to uh, put those in as well. All right, because sometimes people have a different uh, email address, and then email address three, and then paste it in. Okay, and it'll be usually be yet less and less in, in in the multiple emails. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, save that as MLM Pros email. Okay. And now that we've saved that, we can go in here and we can create an audience. So we're going to do custom audience. Um, all right, so that stands for Google Contacts MLM Pros, just so I'll know what it is later. We're doing emails, and we are uploading a, a text file, MLM Pros email. All right, and then we'll click Create. Okay, so some of them are going to have invalid emails. It's read, uh, you know, 100, 136 emails or six errors. I'll continue. Yes. Okay. So it can take up to, up to an hour for this to uh, to show up, and that's all that's all well and good. But now that we've got that done, we can add users to that. Okay. Uh, because what you want to do is you really want to be complete about everything that you do. Uh, so. Let's go to the phone field. All right. Then what we want to do is we want to uh, to format these rows with a number, okay? And because you can see it, it added a one plus. So we want to just change everything over to phone number. Okay. 
So we'll see if that does uh, if that does anything. So again, I'm going to copy that whole row, put it into a text. Whoa, that is wrong. That is incorrect. All right. Yeah, that is not uh, coming up with anything. That must be uh, an incorrect formatted something. That's not really what that row is. All right, so uh, let's see here. All right, so there are the phone numbers. And then we'll copy these ones in. And then we want to go over to not business phone. And you basically just want them all as one line now. Some of them are gonna not be valid because of certain characters and stuff. Uh, but you know, we're not worried about perfection here. We're worried about getting things done. All right, so there'll be a lot of errors with this one. But we're just going to save it as a text file anyhow. And then we're going to add users to it, which is the uh, which is our, our new one here. All right, here we are. We're going to add users. We're going to add phone numbers this time. And we're going to do this. And we click add, 43 errors. There's a bunch of invalid phone numbers. Um, so again, you know, things should be phone formatted without the without the plus, but it, it read 63 phone numbers. So we're gonna we're gonna add that in. Okay. All right. So we've added those in. Okay. And again, you know, I mean if you if you have the time, you know, go through and and you know correct these numbers so you just make it like You know that, for example. All right, but uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna really worry about that. Um, what I want to do, show you real quick, is uh, Lead Freak. Okay. This guy's bouncing. It means he's trying to open. And guys, I mean, what I want you to get here is really, really understand, you know, how this works. Oh, I'll show you one other thing too. I'll show you. Uh, let me show you Aweber. Okay. Right. All right. Log into Aweber, and uh, what we're gonna do is we go under under my account nope um, all right we'll update that later uh, where do we get the subscribers ah yes subscribers All right, so uh, let's do all 
Let's do 150 per day. All right, I got uh, 200 leads on this. All right, maybe we'll do 15K, 15K one week. I don't know what this is. It's, it doesn't matter. Let's just test. All right, so uh, there is a way here to export your uh, leads. And yeah, maybe it's under under here, create manage list. Oh yeah, okay. So backup and export all uh, leads. All right, so we request a backup and uh, then it will be, uh, you know, backup our, our, whole, uh, our whole list. All right, so it's being created. All right, so we'll pop back into there. And in the meantime, what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, log in here, okay? So we just got an update on this. Uh, we'll update and we'll uh, install now. Okay. So we should be back in business here. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to log into Facebook and we're going to log into uh, to Google Plus. All right. So what it allows us to do, let's say, is find information, right? So you can find, uh, okay. So uh, you can't you can't do any closed uh, groups. You need to be a member of the uh, of the group. Um, actually, I just thought I was doing uh, on on Google Plus. Now this is also a pretty interesting engagement tool um, because it allows you to connect. With, with people and you can see um, you know where the most um, you know active comments are uh, you know uh, right here so I can right click go to the activity and I can see about it no excuses get your tickets here And then uh, basically this uh, this would allow you to I think I said no um, you know connect and basically uh, yeah should be able to comment I don't know why I can't all right so I should be able to to uh, Know if something's going on weird with with Chrome. All right, but anyhow, um, so you can get some stuff. Obviously, that's like a a smaller you know keyword niche. But if you did something bigger, like let's say you search for organo gold, see what people are talking about. Um, and this works. Google Plus works better for like like bigger events or or maybe product launches or something where you know. Um, a lot of people are going to be talking about uh, about stuff, but you can you know connect with this. Here's the Network Marketing Times uh, magazine. Let's see if this works any better. So basically, what it allows you to do is really connect with people, you know, and. Um, And, and engage, right? And a lot of people, you know, aren't aren't doing that. So particularly if there's a particular topic that you know is 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 real profitable uh, for you, uh, then you can do that. Now these other ones here are the uh, you know to do with with Facebook. So I'm just going to demonstrate groups right now, and you can make a group for uh, you can search search groups for anything, right? So uh, let's say we we're going to search for um, what's a good uh, a good thing? 
and search for. All right, so searching for five links. Okay, click it, and this is an open group, 224 members, five links partners, to 2,960 people, 119, 170. So let's just do this, for example. Uh, we'll extract this, and we'll call it five links one, and we'll uh, save it on my desktop and click save. All right, one click, uh, extract. Five links two. And then this is this is in search, so generally speaking, it will be set more from the uh, you know the most popular ones or the ones with the highest edge rank down below, uh, but but not always uh, not always the case. Okay, and there's a Spanish group. So again, you know, you can you can search in, in Spanish. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to upload those into the, the Power Ed Editor. Um, so again, we're going to do five links. And let me just pop onto my desktop. And let's see, all right, five links members. I just have to see how this is formatted. Okay, so these are the user IDs, okay? And I don't know why some of these have pluses but we definitely don't yeah we definitely don't want to copy those uh, with, with the pluses so all right we're gonna copy those and then uh, put those in actually we probably don't even need to copy them I think we can just upload them direct because it just seems to be the uh, the numbers all right so we're gonna be Facebook user IDs and we're gonna do five links members one create Boom. So we don't even need to do any editing with that. And uh, that's, what, that's why I bought that. Yeah, it just, it just makes it a little bit easier. Five links members two. Boom. All right. So as you can see, it's still waiting for these to be uh, uploaded, uh, waiting for these to be uploaded. Let's see if, if in um, Aweber, all right, so Aweber, my uh, backup is ready. All right, let's see. So it just says log back into Aweber. All right, download it. And there we go. All right, so there it is. We're gonna show that in the finder. And we're going to pop this over to the, uh, to the desktop. All right, cool. So I'm going to pause it here for uh, for a second uh, after this is done, and then I'll be right back. All right, so now that we've exported, this is basically what you get with your with your Aweber. It's all your lists, and then. Um, you know you can uh, you, you can upload them so you can see your broadcasts here um, I don't do broadcasts uh, directly to that list your follow-ups and then your, your leads okay now it also shows you your inactive leads okay um, and there could be gold here as well in uh, in in these because as I said a lot of these people you know probably unsubscribe from you but you already have the no like and trust right so if you're doing a lot of solo ads you know, I would consider going after these uh, leads as well. And, um, uh, you know, uh, and basically, uh, you know, connecting with them. So I'll show you how to do that. We're going to copy those over to your, your text editor and paste those in. All right. And so these are the unsubscribes. And then we're going to, this is the 15K, where, where were we? Oh yeah, we were over here. 
active leads. So you right click on the, on the top of the header, uh, control C or, or command C on the Mac, and then paste those in. All right, and then remove the, uh, the top one, the, the, the title of the, of the column. All right, so file, save as, 15K leads, and we're going to save that. All right, so again, we're going to create an audience, custom audience, Aweber 15K, Aweber 15K. We're going to do it from emails, choose the file, create. Okay. So it's been uploaded, it may take about an hour for it to be available for targeting, all right? And when you're in the Power Editor, um, you basically need to you know, upload and, and then you need to, to fetch your, your data um, because it doesn't do it in real time. It basically, you need to click update or, or refresh and then it will, um, it will refresh all this stuff. All right, so uh, where are we here? All right, so we're still waiting for these um, these audiences to come in, uh, but let's see, we did, all right, so we did Aweber, uh, we did the contacts, we did the contacts from there, um, oh, did we upload that, that other list? I don't think we, we did, I don't think we did the, uh, the Zing list, all right, so let me, let me back out of this here. Right, that's 15k. Five links. Uh, Google contacts. Um, oh yeah, this. No, what is this one? I don't know what that one is. All right. Let's see. All right, now did I, did I, uh, all right, so we did, we did the Aweber. I'm not sure we did the, uh, the one from, from Zing. Let's see. All right. Zing Elite. All right. Yeah, here we go. All right, so again, the same thing. Um, it's just a little bit cleaner with, with, um, with this. So, new document. These are the emails. And click save. All right, so we're going to create an audience, another custom audience using Elite. And we're going to do by emails, choose a file, and uh, where are we here? Create. And at the same time, we're going to take all their uh, phone numbers. And the reason that, that it's kind of broken into these different things is because, you know, with any with any contact manager, the thing that you got to think about is, you know, people have different types of, of uh, phone numbers. And, um, you know, when you enter the phone field, you know, they, they just, it's just a little bit hard to... Uh, to predict what some people are going to be, uh, going to be uh, using, you know, and formatting and and uh, you know stuff like that. So we'll just do the the, the best that we can here. I'm not going to obsess about uh, about you know how it works, um, you know, or getting things perfect because that's a huge mistake. But I'm going to. Copy all the all this column, and let's see. We'll paste it in here, and we'll get some extra phone numbers. 
All right. And then the cell phone, which is probably what people are going to be using. All right. Zing Elite phone. There we go. And we'll create. Oh, no, no. We, we, we already have that audience, right? All right. So we want to add users to it. This time by phone numbers. And basically, what we're doing is we're just merging over top because they might use a different email, but you know, they might have their phone number on their account and then we might get an extra, you know, some extra people in that, in that group. Um, and that's really the, um, the goal with this. So there's a lot of bad phone numbers. Um, obviously they don't like the, the dots. Um, you know, they don't like the, the brackets. So I'm going to show you a way to, uh, to get rid of that. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to do find, we're going to replace bracket with a space. Oh no, with nothing. All right, so replace all. Then we're going to do a bracket with, uh, we're going to replace all. We're going to uh, find anything with a dot. I'm going to replace it with nothing. All right. And then we're going to save it again. And we're going to so 18 errors. I think that was less than the, than the time before. Um, and if so, you know, then, then we've, we've uh, accomplished our goal. All right, let's see. Okay. So let me do one other thing. I'm going to show you um, uh, Traffic Sniper, and this thing's really cool. Hold on. Okay, so here we are with uh, with FB Traffic Sniper, and this thing is pretty pretty badass. Um, so here, here's a little intro about it. Blah blah blah. The instructions, and here's the. Here's how this works, okay, with, with, with Facebook ID. And Facebook ID is, is, is kind of, you know, ideal. So it allows you to search groups, right? So you could do uh, five links like we did before. And I'll, sh I'll show you, you know, what it, what it comes back with. So it shows you the groups. Um, and you can't really tell in this, in this tool how many people are in each group. But the nice thing is, is that, uh, you know, you can download... All the checked items. All right. So I've already downloaded these, so I can delete these. All right. So I guess you can only have a couple a couple things going at the same time. Um, so let's try that again. Five links. The groups, so we got all the groups. Bam! Download all the checked items. Create download task. Okay. Um, now we can go back to search, and you can also search Facebook pages and Facebook posts, right? So posts in the last week. So that's pretty interesting because it allows you to, to type uh, uh, find people that are um, talking about organo gold. Or let's see, let's see people talking about pure leverage, for example. Or power network in the last week. All 
All right. So you can see people doing uh, talking about a power network. Um, I haven't used this a lot, but you can view the post here. All right. Um, so uh, this to me would be more interesting if you wanted to engage. Um, because again, you could make yourself look like you were everywhere if you find all the people commenting on Empower Network in the last, you know, 12, uh, 12 hours and you just are like commenting, 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 you know, just, just all over the place, right? Um, so, so that kind of thing. But I like, I like the, the uh, Facebook pages, okay? Uh, the whole idea of, of Facebook pages because when you do a search here, I'll show you how, how this works. Um, basically you'll see that, you know, more or less, you know, it's, it's the ones that are, that are, have the highest count talking about them, but I always want to sort. Okay. So I'll click it and then it will go opposite and then it will go the right way, um, with the most people talking about it. Now, the way that Facebook page, uh, Facebook pages work is it's not going to grab all the fans, but it will go back and grab, uh, the ones that, uh, well, let me just do this. Okay. I'm not going to do uh, Spanish, uh, because that's not my forte. So basically you can download the checked items and then it allows you to, you know, how, how much do you want, how, how far do you want to go back? Uh, because it will only, it only grabs people that, that actually have taken an action. Okay. So, um, not just the fans, you can't grab all the fans at once, but just the engaged ones. So people that, you know, have clicked uh, like, have uh, done a comment, you know, on the fan page in the last 40 hours, one week, one month, you know, uh, three months. So I'm going to do three months and select a download, download task. And then we're going to do another one uh, like this. Let's do pure leverage. All right, so again, we're going to sort it because it does sort of sort it, but, but I want to make sure I'm getting the, the, the biggest, you know, biggest bang for the buck here because, you know, on page two, everything's going to be going to be less, right? So it's not really, not really worth, um, you know, when it goes down to, to a certain number, it's not really worth your, your time. So pure leverage, and then we're going to download checked items. Three months, create download. Okay, so you can only have a couple at once, um, which basically just, you know, keeps you from from I guess bots from like over automating. So I'm gonna download that. This is five links. Put that on the desktop, and then delete that. All right, because I've already downloaded it. And then I guess I'm going to have to go back and uh, do that search again. And it doesn't take that long to uh, to do. See, if I, if I just let the default, I'd get this group with only two people in it, right? Whereas uh, with this one, you know, third group has 42 in it. So that's significantly more. All right, and then download checked items. Uh, three months, create download task. All right, check the check the scheduler. All right. So this one you can see is going in the background. Um, and this, this will take about seven minutes and this will take about two minutes. So things are looking good. Um, as we're doing that, Let's pop back over into uh, Facebook, and then we'll and then we'll zip into the uh, into the power editor again, guys. I mean, this is super super powerful, and I'm going to show you how to uh, how to target a lot of this stuff and really, you know, crush it out. Um, so there there we go. Some notifications. I'm just going to check my my profile. Um, yeah, so put up a bunch of, of pictures here. This is me and my boy. 
get response. Last book I finished. Here I am on stage. And then uh, as we're waiting here, I'll show you a bit of my art. I just I just put this up. And these are some of my, my paintings that I did last year. Um, so this is a little cottage. Uh, Nina Simone. Nah, I'm just playing with texture. Some of these ones playing with texture that look, look a lot better in, in real life. Um, that's kind of like a face. This is a desert, but I actually went over this and, and uh, changed it uh, pretty significantly. Um, that's that one again. And then this is Nina Simone as, as she was being painted. Finish thing. All right. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to refresh this. All right, they're both completed. That wasn't even seven minutes. So download, and I'm going to show a founder and FBID and power. leverage you're gonna put that on the desktop okay so we're gonna uh, delete these now they're done all right and then See if we get any for uh, T. Harvecker. All right. So I am going to download these. And then um, let's do. All right, so that's uh, Facebook Traffic Sniper, uh, pretty cool. And then what we need to do is we need to pop back into Facebook, Ads Manager, and then Power Editor. And then audiences. So we're going to create an audience, custom audience, and uh, power uh, fan page. And we're going to choose. So the three that we did, we did pure leverage, empower, and I think five links. All right. All right, boom. So five links, custom audience. We're going to add users to this. This might delay things a bit, but uh, you know, again, we want to want to really, and then we can really target an ad around, you know, specifically around five links, right? Um, you know, something that would really make sense to them and, and uh, you know, that would, that would be the, the ideal uh, situation. And then I believe I have a, a pure leverage group. Um, I don't know why, well, I don't know why I have two. I'm going to delete, delete one here.
All right. Still have two. Weirdest thing. All right. So I'm going to add users to this. UID. Pure leverage. All right. Boom. All righty. So um, now let's see. Time updated. All right. Let's see. All right, so of the ones we've done today, uh, this is the only one that's ready. And there's about 70, uh, 70 people out of that, that group. Uh, let's see, the contact group. Out of 171, uh, 70 people I could target that group on, uh, on Facebook. So that's not bad um, because you know, these are people that have been my Google contacts for a while. Uh, this one, as you can see, it's still waiting uh, to be, uh, uh, where are we here? Yeah, still waiting to be uh, updated. Uh, the lead is still waiting. Uh, this one is still waiting. And it's about uh, 3.52, so uploaded this about half an hour ago. So all these ones should be coming online uh, pretty soon. And then again, five links, because it was just updated, it kind of, you know, uh, delays it again. So what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, this This one I uploaded uh, yesterday. And we're going to do an ad targeting uh, that. And I'll show you how this how this works. We're actually, we'll do one targeting Numis because, um, you know, I was I was in Numis before. That would be easier for me to, uh, to do. All right. All right, you can just check updates there, and then, and then yeah. So we're still, still waiting on on a lot of those. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the uh, campaign dashboard, and uh, we are going to create an ad. Okay. And we're gonna do this in our Uh, well, we're going to do a new campaign. All right. I'm going to create a campaign. All right. Uh, we're over here. Campaign name. And uh, this is going to be called. Uh, what should I call it? All right, custom audience hunting. All right, budget, let's do $25 a day. Continuously from the start date. Uh, scheduled, yeah. All right, so. Labels. Just try that. All right, cool. All right, so that just pops it there just for organization. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, uh, create, the, create the campaign. Uh, sorry, we're going to delete that. Right. All right, so we're going to upload those changes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
I just want to delete this campaign. All right, but anyhow, let's just let's just move on here. All right, <laughs> all right. CA hunting. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create an ad. Okay, this will be pending. All right, so I'm always bad when I'm doing ads on the spot. So uh, we'll see what uh, we'll see what we what we come up with. All right, so let me think here. Numis. Right. We're going to do a Let's do a Facebook page. Not all right, so um, all right, we'll send people to this this webinar, okay. Um, Headline will be Generate Leads Online. All right, I'm going to I'm going to change this. Um, Okay, and then what we're going to do is we are going to find a image that's sort of square. All right, and that's going to grab people's attention. Uh, let's see. Let's do this one. Right, um, and that's good because it, it just brings a social proof. And then we'll track conversions, um, and that's a conversion thing that I set up. And then what we do is we go audience, and we get Canada, United States, United Kingdom. I'll do Australia, and I'll do New Zealand, and that's pretty much what what I do. Um, now for me. Uh, because of my demographics, you know, I'm going to do 25 
to, and I find it it's, it's difficult if people, um, you know, are, are, are too, you know, too much skewed towards the older age. They, they tend to have uh, a bit more trouble uh, doing that. I could target just, just women, um, you know, just men or just women, but uh, I'm going to, I'm going to target all because I'm not really concerned with any of these targeting things. And that's a cool thing about, you know, this method is you don't need to worry about any of that anymore. You just go into advanced audiences and you, and you type uh, Numis, there it is, and have 880 people, um, 240 women, 120 men, <laughs> I don't know how it makes 880, but uh, apparently it does, and uh, yeah, anyone, and then pricing and status, so basically you can you can uh, optimize or, or just do a bid. Um, you know, we're gonna do 24 cents and pending. Okay, and then when you're done, uh, yeah. So let's see. Um, oh, sorry. Change the name of the ad. All right, and it's going to my uh, to my webinar. So. Now that we're, we're, we're changed, we're going to upload all that stuff. And then what's going to happen is uh, they can uh, review the ad. And uh, as you can see, I'm going to a, a Facebook webinar. So that's going to keep my cost down because they're still saying on, uh, on Facebook, uh, which, is, uh, which is cool. And uh, I still need to figure out how to delete this, this darn campaign because <laughs> it's, uh, it's bugging me. Um, but anyhow, uh, there we go with that. Now let's, let's check back into our audiences and click check updates. Okay. And then we'll see. Okay. So we have the 15 K is ready. we got 400 of those people. Um, Zing elite, not quite ready. Empower, not quite ready. Uh, five links, not quite ready and pure leverage, not quite ready, but uh, you know, from that, I think that, that you can really kind of see how, how we can make this, uh, how we can make this work and, you know, the best way to really, really drive, uh, uh, you know, drive these sales. So below this video, I'm going to put a couple links, you know, to the, uh, to the software that I use because I showed you, uh, showed you lead freak over here, which is really easy to use. And then I also showed you uh, Facebook Traffic Sniper that allows you to get right into the uh, into the pages and stuff. But I mean, I pretty much showed you uh, really detailed um, step by step by step by step how this works, how to make it work for you. And um, you know, I think that if you really watch this video a few times, bam, you know, you'll know how to how to figure it out. You know, it's just testing around, playing, using it. And putting it towards action, and um, then you should be able to uh, to leverage from this as well. So I hope this was helpful, and I look forward to uh, to helping you on the next video. Again, um, appreciate you guys, and um, yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know what uh, what you thought of this. I always love hearing comments in, in Facebook, or you know, get it to me some way, or you know, cut me a video or whatever. Appreciate it, and uh, good luck. Go out, and use the method. Thanks.